How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you the two new dungeons added to Mount Ashwall. So these, this dungeon is just located by here. It is on the left side before you go into the big giant door. So you just want to come up this little path and uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, this dungeon is for people who can actually access the uh, Mount Ashfall. So uh, if you're low level, you won't be able to actually come here. So um, yeah. So we have a new character too. Uh, she doesn't have any quests. Uh, she does have a cutscene if you want to go watch it. And um, yeah, we have new. We have a new armor set. Um, I will have my character just spinning around. Keep in mind, I don't have the shoulders yet because um, when I was grinding for the gear, they didn't add the uh, shoulders into the game. And I've only literally just tried now, and it seems like they don't drop often. Um, so yeah, we got two dungeons. One's a free man, and one's a five man. Uh, the lava run is just basically kill a bunch of monsters and then kill the boss uh, in one room. And the lava's heart is basically we have the boss in the middle uh, and we can attack him at certain times when his shields are down. So um, yeah, pretty damn cool. So I'm going to show you the uh, lava's heart because I think that's the coolest one. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So here we are. This is actually the boss. Uh, this is the heart. Uh, I don't know where his head is, but um, yeah, we'll have these uh, lava hydras pop up in a minute. There we go. I suggest using uh, the Dragon Slayer class because all these enemies are dragon types. So if you click on the Lava Hydra, there we go, dragon. So if you use the uh, Dragon Slayer class, it will actually do, do more damage. So it's pretty decent if you want to do this fast. But I do understand not all people have the Dragon Slayer class at the moment. So um, use whatever you feel you're doing the most damage with. So you can see here now we can actually attack the Hydra's heart. Uh, but once it goes up into the rocks, we actually do no damage to it. It's actually out of the line of sight. Uh, we can actually get on top and we'll just fall straight through once it is uh, ready to be attacked. Um, I see most players just ignore the uh, Hydras and just focus on the heart, which is fine. Uh, this is though They're both pretty easy dungeons. <laughs> I would say the Freeman probably a bit harder just because I see a lot more people dying in it when I do it. And there we go. I got the gloves. I got the uh, worlds of flame, which I don't need. Um, we can leave. So um, yeah, those are pretty much the. That's pretty much the dungeon. It's pretty easy. Um, what I know of, it doesn't use use any of my uh, keys. So we go back to it now. I had two hundred and forty three. I still have two hundred and forty three. So it doesn't use any keys, which is decent if you want to go and grind for all this gear. Uh, they have no stats. It is cosmetic only, guys. So, um, yeah, this is basically it. I should have my character on screen. You can see the armor set of the uh, new armor set. Besides the sword shoulders, because um, they're pretty hard to get. And I have been trying for a bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, guys, this was nice. Um, hopefully, we'll get the next side of the dungeon to the right side. And um, hopefully, it'll be a bit harder. And um, yeah guys, this was just a small little update. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.